And there's two kinds of cultures. The first kind is called a healthy school culture. See, the majority of their educators believed that we are here to produce learning for all kids. And they, are, they have this unwavering belief that that can happen. And ready for this? They will express that belief onto others in overt and covert ways. Meaning, even when there are no administrators in the room, these teachers will continue focusing on, we gotta get all kids there. These educators will create policies, procedures, and practices that support their belief in the ability of every student. It's been studied, studied by people like Peterson out of Wisconsin University, and he says that when you have this kind of culture, sky's the limit for what can happen. Okay, so this is the opposite of healthy, right? Our kids can learn. Yeah. Their parents just did a better job. See, if their parents focused more on being parents, and sat down and did the homework with them and read with them for 30 minutes, then we wouldn't be as low as we are with literacy. It's the parents. Here's another one. Our kids can learn. Yeah. The state just gave us better policies. I swear, those people read research and then do the opposite. It's ridiculous. Until they give us the resources we need, we're never going to be able to do this. Or how about this one? Our kids can learn. Yeah. I don't have EL and special need kids in my class because that's Rosa's job. <laughs> Rosa works with those kids. And I don't work with those kids. I'm sorry. These are my kids. Those are her kids. You see, in a toxic culture, we come up with every reason why we can't, even though there are schools that have already done it. And we're good people, but here's the problem. We come up with the belief that student success is based on the student's level of concern, attentiveness, prior knowledge, and willingness to comply with the demands of the school. And we will articulate this overtly and covertly. We end up creating policies and procedures that adopt practices that support their belief in the impossibility of universal achievement. So we basically convince ourselves that we can't do this until and if, and if, and if.